Hello learners, welcome back to Constant Learners. In today's video, we are going to discuss the keys and types of keys in Relational Database Management System. Now, you would say why Relational Database Management System? Because keys are nothing but the attributes. All right, and what are attributes? Attributes are nothing but the columns or the fields in the relations. Relations are nothing but tables, right? So these columns here are known as the attributes and keys represent these columns, all right? So this entire table here is a relation, all right? And the columns, these vertical columns are known as attributes or fields, all right? And these horizontal section, this entire single section, that is this entire single row is known as tuples or records and each row stores data about one entry all right so this entire row is going to store data about one person then this entire row will store data about another single person right so each row stores data about one entry all right now here what we are seeing on the screen is a student's table all right and it has three columns namely name age and department right and each row stores data about one student right so i can access the columns with the column names right if i have to uh, look at a person named hussein right so i can simply go to the name column and look at the person whose name is hussein if i have to look at the data about a student named manju i can simply go to the names column and look at all the data about the student named Manju, right? But what about the rows? Rows do not have any names. Now, let's say I want to fetch all the data about a student named Raju. So, this student here is Raju and this student here is also Raju. So, there are two students named Raju. So, which Raju am I looking for? Oh, the Raju in the CS department. But this Raju is also in the CS department and this Raju is also in the CS department, right? Now, I'm unable to identify which student data do I need. So, to identify the record, we need an identifier. What if we give each student an ID? Just like in school, we have roll numbers, right? So, roll numbers represent each student so that even if there are two students with the same name, the teacher can identify the student with their roll numbers. Right. So I've added another column here named student ID. Student ID is nothing but an ID that I have assigned to each student. So SID here we have is one, two, three, four, five. All right. I have five rows and all of these student IDs are unique. That is, they are different. They are unique. Since they are unique, it can be our identifier, right? This column, SID, it can be our identifier because all the values in this column are unique, right? If I'm requesting for data of student with SID 3, we will get Tina's data. So SID is helping us to uniquely identify the records or rows in our table. And this is nothing but a Key. Keys help us to uniquely identify the tuples. Tuples are the rows, right? So if I have to look at the data of a particular student in a particular row, I can identify that uniquely with the help of a key. All right. So key is a unique identifier that helps us to identify the data of a particular record or a particular row right but can we use name as a key no why not because if you see here are two students with the same name there can be multiple students with the same name so it cannot uniquely identify a student can we use age as a key no there are multiple students with the same age these two are 20 years old these three are 19 years old so it is not a unique identifier then can we use department as a unique identifier as a key? No, because there are two students with 
department sorry three students with department cs so here also we have repetitive or redundant data and whenever we have repetitive or redundant data then we can say that it is not unique and keys are unique identifiers right so unless a column has unique data it cannot be identified as a key all right i hope that this was clear right to identify a record or uh, the data about one particular student we need a key so let's head to the first key that is the super key super key is a single attribute attribute means column so it can be either a single column or a set of attributes that is a group of columns right so super key can be a single column it can be a one column or it can be a group of columns that can help us to uniquely identify a tuple row or record so if i have a table here in this table we could either use this single column as a super key or we could use a set of multiple columns as a super key all right let's understand this with some examples now here we have the students table from this table we can either use single attribute as a super key or we can take a combination of two or more attributes to form the super key right now first criteria to get a super key is that it should uniquely identify the tuples right so we already have this sid column here right the student id column here wherein all the values are unique 1 2 3 4 5 right so all the values are unique so this column here can automatically be a super key right so here let's write the columns that can be a super key the first one is sid right next column that we have is the name column right but there are two students with the same name this is also raju here and this is also raju so it is not uniquely identifying a row or a record and thus the name column cannot be a super key right now the age column again here the age is repeating two students are 20 years old and three students are 19 years old so again age column cannot be identified as a super key next is the phone number column again here two students are having the same phone number because we are just believing that raju and tina are siblings they are brother and sister and they are sharing the same phone number right so again phone number cannot be a super key right next column is the aadhar number for those who don't know aadhar number is a unique identification number for the people living in india all right so aadhar number is unique for every person right now if you don't have an aadhar number if you haven't applied for it then that's a totally different scenario but otherwise every student or every person in india will have a unique aadhar number right so all the values in this column are going to be unique since all the values are going to be unique this can definitely be a super key because it can uniquely identify a record if i say i want all the data about a student whose aadhar number is 567 so this is the student whose aadhar number is 567 so i'll get all the information about this student his name is hussein he's 19 years old his mobile number or phone number is 9012 and he is a student of the cs department right if i say i want just the name and phone number of the student whose aadhar number is 345 so there's only one student whose aadhar number is 345 that is manju and her phone number is 9023 right so we can uniquely identify the rows or tuples or records with the aadhar number and thus aadhar number is going to be our super key so the next super key is aadhar number correct then we have the department column again in the department column there are three students who have the same department so the values are not unique and thus this cannot be a super key so until now we have received two keys two super keys one is the sid that is student id and the other one is the aadhar number right but as we discussed super key can be either a single column or a set of attributes that is it can be a single attribute or a set of 
attributes right so we are going to generate more keys using two or more attributes all right now sid itself is a super key but if we combine it with any other attribute will it be a super key also of course it will right so if i join sid with the name column here right so the combination of sid and name will also be a super key right because if you look at this the combination of one raju we have only one row that has the combination of sid1 and name raju here this student is also having the name raju but his sid is 5 so th the value of this super key is going to be 5 raju right if i join sid with age again this will also be a super key. So this student is also 19 years old and this student is also 19 years old. But this student has the SID 3. So the combination will be 3, 19. And this is going to be 4, 19, right? So it is going to be unique. And if it is uniquely identifying the data in a particular row, then it is going to be considered as a super key. Then SID and phone number. This will also be a super key. Similarly, a combination of SID and department is also going to be a super key, right? Now, since SID and Aadhaar number alone itself is a super key, then of course, its combination is also going to be a super key. Aadhaar number with any other non-unique columns. Aadhaar number and name will also be a super key, right? Combination of Aadhaar number and age will also be a super key Aadhaar number and phone number will also be a super key Aadhaar number and department will also be a super key now it's not mandatory that we can only take two attributes we can take more than two attributes also so combination of sid Aadhaar number and name can also be a super key then a combination of sid name and age can also be a super key any combination that can uniquely identify a row will be considered as a super key so combining non-unique attributes with unique attributes that is sid and other number these two are unique attributes right combining any non-unique attributes like name age phone number and department with these two unique attributes will give us super keys but we can also combine two non-unique attributes to form super keys the only criteria is that they must uniquely identify the tuples, right? Let's say if we take a combination of name and age, will it uniquely identify a tuple? Let's see. So Raju is 20. We know that there are other students with age 20, but the other student is Manju, right? Manju is 20 years old. So Raju and 20, this is a unique combination because this Raju is having age of 19. So this Raju is 20 and this Raju is 19. So both of these, if I say I need the data of student named Raju whose age is 20, then I'll get only this row's data. So this combination here, combination of name and age is able to uniquely identify the tuples. Even though the columns, the attributes name and age they are not unique. They themselves are not unique. But their combination is able to uniquely identify the tuples. Now, we must understand that this table is a very simple example, right? Actual databases are far more complex and they have loads of data entries. Here, we hardly have five rows of data and we're just talking about our example right now. This may not be valid for actual databases. But what we are discussing here is for our understanding about the keys, right? So here in this case, name, age. This combination gives us unique values and thus it can uniquely identify the records or rows. So we can consider it as a super key, right? Then Raju and Tina, they are sharing the same phone number. Even though the phone number is repetitive, the combination of these two columns, that is name and phone number will give us unique values. Let's see, Raju has the phone number 9876. This is also Raju but his phone number is 9567. So the combination is giving us unique values. Yes, it is. This student Tina has phone number 9876, but the name is Tina. So this combination is also unique. 
So the combination of name and phone number is giving us unique values and thus we can consider it as a super key. A combination of age and phone number. This is also unique and a combination of phone number and department. This is also unique. So these can also be considered as super keys. There can be many more super keys if we combine the unique attributes with other non-unique attributes but we are not going to write all of those here. Right? I have just explained you how we can get super keys. Super key is a superior key or we can say it is a super set. Why super set? Because it is a set of all possible keys that can be formed from a relation. Right? Any key that can uniquely identify a tuple will be a super key. Right? And super key will include all possible combinations of keys that can be formed from a relation. There is a possibility that uh, some of the students might not have a Aadhaar card. Let's say they did not make one, right? They do not have this identification proof. So that column for that particular student is going to stay empty. Let's say Manju has not made her Aadhaar card yet. So she will not have a Aadhaar number, right? So that column for Manju is going to stay empty, right? So anywhere where there is Aadhaar number, that value or that attribute is going to stay null for Manju. Similarly, of course, everyone has phone numbers today, but there's a possibility that a student does not have a phone number. Let's say Hussein does not have a phone number, right? So phone number column will stay empty for Hussein. That attribute will stay empty. So whichever super key is having phone number as an attribute like this one or this one, it's going to stay empty. So the attributes of super key can have null values. Right? And finally, the last and one of the most important point in case of super key is that super key helps us to identify the candidate keys. Right? So this brings us to our next topic that is candidate keys and that we will discuss in the next video. I hope that super key was clear to everyone. I hope that the basic concept of keys was clear to you. If you have any doubts or any queries, Please feel free to write it down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching.